Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. Let's say we have a situation where we have multiple computers in our environment and we've installed an application on multiple computers and that application is having problems on a lot of different computers. Well, we could go to the event log on each computer and check the event log to try to figure out what's going on, or we can configure what's called event forwarding. With event forwarding, we're going to have source computers, and then we're going to have collect a collector computer. The source computers are going to send the events that we specify in a subscription to the collector, or the collector will go out and grab the events from the source computers that we specify in a subscription. So that way, on the collector computer, we can look at all the events together. So we don't have to go to each individual event log on each computer. This can be really handy in situations where we may have an event that is only happening at a certain time of the day. You know, let's say at for some reason 10 a.m., it seems like, you know, we're getting a lot of calls about an application. Well, if we get all the events sent to one collector computer, we can verify that by looking at it and saying, oh yeah, every morning at exactly 10 a.m., all these computers have exactly the same problem. So it's probably not an individual computer problem. It may be a global problem, more like a network problem, something like that. So first, let's configure our source computers. These are the ones that are going to generate the events in the event log and then either forward them to the collector or the collector is going to grab the events from our source computers. So I'm going to type in CMD. We're going to need to open up a command prompt, right click on it, click run as administrator. Click yes to the UAC prompt. And we need the remote Windows Remote Management Service in order to forward events. So we need to configure it here. It's a simple command, but we want to be careful about using the Windows Remote Management Service because it has larger implications other than just forwarding events. It can let remote computers run the Windows Remote Shell which allows users with administrative privileges to execute commands remotely as if they're on the computer. Now you still need administrative privileges to do that but it opens up that ability so we want to know that when we're configuring our Windows Remote Management Services that this is not just for events. So to configure it, we're going to type in win rm a space quick config. Hit enter. And you can see win rm was already set up on this computer. So we're good to go on this computer. Let's go over to another computer and set it up. So this is going to be another source computer. I'll just go to the start menu, type in cmd, right click on it, run as administrator yes to the UAC prompt and the same command win rm space quick config hit enter it was not currently configured on this particular computer so it lets us know what it's going to do it's going to set the win rm service to delayed auto start is that okay yes and also it needs to enable the win rm fire firewall exception is that okay yes Another thing we need to do on our source computers is run our computer management here and add the computer com account of the collector to a group here called the event log readers. So I'll just double click on it, click add. We're going to go up to object types and change the object type. We want computers. Click OK. And here we're going to type in the name of the computer that's going to be the collector. So I'm going to use desktop 101. Let me check the name. OK. Click OK. And we're going to need to go over to our other source computer and do the same thing. I'll go to the start menu, right click on computer, manage. Expand local users and groups, expand groups, event log readers, I'll double click on it, click add. Go up to object types, and we want computers, so I'll go ahead and check computers, click OK. 
and type in desktop 101 against the name of the collector computer and click OK click OK again and our source computers are configured now let's configure our collector now I'm on desktop 101 which is also a collector I made it a source as well and if we want to use source computer initiated subscriptions and that's when the source computer is going to send the events to the collector then we'll need to run the winrm quick config command on our collector if we want to use collector initiated where the collector actually goes out and grabs the events from the source computers then uh, we don't need to run the winrm quick config command on our collector so I've already run the winrm quick config command on our collector computer just to verify this I could type in winrm I'm sorry winrm quick config it's already set up now we need to type in wecutil space qc hit enter this is going to configure the windows collector service type in Y for yes and let's just know the event collector service was configured successfully and we'll continue this and create a subscription in the next movie